In the meantime, cliff diving is only gaining appreciation worldwide, although it beats classic diving in terms of popularity. However, the question of whether it has to be included in the Olympic program is raising a lot of controversy. Robert Bordagnan explains. It's almost 3,000 years since the first Olympics were held in Athens. Although the spirit of the Games has hardly changed since then, the greatest examples of physical ability and the extremes to which athletes can perform. Diving is a modern Olympic event, which currently includes competitions in one, three and ten meter platforms. However, it has a much more extreme version. Cliff diving which produces not only stunning, but also technically advanced dives from 27-meter platforms. And specialists argue the sporting federations should rate it as worthy of Olympic recognition. There is a lot of talk uh, in, uh, with FINA um, because, it's, because they are standardizing it uh, and there's rules and qualifications and, and a lot of countries are participating now in cliff diving. So, you know, it's, it's very hopeful for it to be an Olympic event. It's the same as 10 meter diving, just higher. Um, and the crowd loves uh, a sport like this. Um, and so, yeah, I think it's got what it takes. I'm sure there are many places all over the globe that could host cliff diving events. While there are a lot of standards to be met in Olympic diving, cliff diving needs almost nothing in terms of infrastructure. All you need is water, a cliff and a platform on the cliff. It's as simple as that. However, cliff diving can be seen from another angle. Russian daredevil Valery Rozov is one of the world's most famous base jumpers who's made headlines all over the world, performing amazing free-fall stunts in a specially designed wingsuit. I wouldn't call it a sport in the true sense of the word. The cliff diving community is currently a bit too small. There aren't many people involved in it so far. It's definitely a kind of extreme activity that has its specific risks, and I like it very much. Although Russia would gain a lot from cliff diving as an Olympic sport, the country's star performer Artem Silchenko has just finished second at this year's World Series and managed to produce the competition's best ever overall score at the final stage of the season in Ukraine. Meanwhile, some cliff divers already have Olympic experience. Englishman Blake Aldrich took part in the 2008 Games in Beijing where he was eighth in synchronized diving. I would love it to become an Olympic sport. Um, I just don't think that there's many Olympic divers, certainly not that I know of, that would want to come and, and jump from this. Um, but for me, it's extreme, it's fun, it's crazy, it's dangerous, it's everything that makes me happy. And, um, to be able to go to the Olympic Games and now come here and, and do this, it just keeps my diving career going and, and that's what I enjoy. The World Cleave Diving Series stage held in Le Rochelle in France at the end of June was watched by a record-breaking crowd of over 70,000 spectators. So if popularity helps to ensure a sport becomes an Olympic event, then cleave diving certainly has a big advantage. Robert Vardanian, RT.